Hello, Brian Myers from Winning Solutions, Inc. and the Microsoft Access Experts. We are going to continue our tutorial series on how to create a basic database. We'll pick up where we left off last time. If you are new to the series, please find a link in the description below for the first tutorial and go through each of the individual tutorials to get caught up to where we are now. If you've already done our previous tutorials we'll pick up where we left off last time uh, last time what we did was we went into our employee table we went into design view and we created some new data types for our start date our uh, created date by using the now and uh, date values and we also added in some input masks for our start date and our email addresses so today what we're going to look at is creating a entry form. Uh, you can open up your uh, table, your employee table, and you could just enter information directly into the table, which I'll do now. Um, remember, we did not require a middle name. Uh, we have our drop downs that we set up from our lookup tables. We have our auto entered uh, start date. We have an email address that we'll put in here. Feel free to contact me at this email address with any questions or if you need any help. Oh, and we didn't put in a phone value there. And we'll put in this phone number here. And you can use that phone number as well to contact me. Uh, just use extension 104 to get directly to me. So you can enter information through this data sheet view which uh, will work just fine, but uh, most people don't like to enter information this way. And so what we're going to look at in this particular tutorial is how to create a form from an existing table. So what we've got here, we'll go ahead and close out of this table. We'll go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have the table employees selected and we're going to go up to this create tab here and what we're looking for is this form button so we'll go ahead and click that form button and this is a really nice feature in access it's going to go ahead and create us a form with all the fields that we've already had in there and you can see it already entered the information for the first record we are in layout view which i don't find to be a very effective view it allows you to just kind of move things around you can see here i'm dropping the employee id down a little bit further i can move things like that but it doesn't give us as much uh, power as another view we can use which we're going to right click and we're going to go to design view and this while it's not the greatest of views it, it does allow us a lot more control uh, over the individual fields so the first thing I'm going to do here is, is kind of clean up the fields on our, our on our form if you remember our employee ID is automatically created so that's that's not something that anybody's ever going to enter it's only for our use so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that field and it's probably important that I note to you that this is uh, it automatically created labels and you'll see the labels in the first column here and it's created those labels based upon the name of the the field or the column that we had um, so we'll need to correct those the other part of it is called an input and we've got the inputs here we've got a text input because these were text values we've got a department ID drop down because that's from our lookup table uh, position ID drop down as well well as the start date email address and phone number as well as this created date and the created dates another one that I don't think anybody's gonna mess with other than us unless we decide to do something with the code and if you select on these uh, rows that uh, we've deleted you can see that it selects this entire row and we can just select the delete button and it'll automatically delete that for us I'm gonna delete those two uh, the other thing that I notice here is that uh, our text fields here are a little too large we kind of want them to be the same size as these drop downs so what we can do is uh, have this property sheet up over on the right and I'm gonna close it just to show you what happens if we need to bring that back up I'm gonna go over here to let's make sure we got all our fields went back to design view there we were missing one of our options there and that's the design uh, but we actually want to click on the property sheet here 
and that'll get that up for us if we didn't have it before. And we've got a couple of tabs here. There's the format tab, which is the basic formatting of this field. We've got the data, which for this particular field, we can see it's using that lookup table. Um, we can also go and see events that are triggered. We won't cover those right now. Uh, we've got uh, another field with a couple more options, or we can see all of the options at once. We're going to start here with this format field. And what I want to look at is what is the height of this field, because I want these uh, other fields to be the same height. And if we look in here, we'll see height, and it's set to 0.25 inches. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to select all these fields and labels and I'm going to set the width to 0.25 and I just copied and pasted that with control C and control V and if I tab out of that field oops looks like I put it into the width I actually wanted that let's do this one at a time we wanted that for height not width so we'll reselect all of those we'll go to our height and you can see it shrunk them down to the all be the same height. And what I'm going to do as well is pull up the bottom of the form here. And now another thing that I'm looking at here is these uh, labels. I kind of like my labels to be right justified. So I'm just going to select all of those by holding down control and clicking on them. Or if you are good with your mouse, you can just uh, mouse over until it turns into a down arrow and it will select that whole column for you. So let's see here. We want to actually do some formatting. So I'm going to click the Format tab here. And what we're looking at is the justifications here. We've got left, center, and right. I want those to be right justified. That gets that problem fixed. Now let's look at something else here. There's no spaces in our uh, labels here. So we'll just double click here. And we'll add a space. And I want a colon at the end. So it looks like a normal form. So we'll just go through and fix all of those. And nobody else knows that we're just uh, storing the ID, so I'm just going to change that to department and change our position ID to position. Start date, we'll put a space. And email address. and phone number. Something else I'm going to do here is just for a reminder for our users is put a asterisk in front of our required fields. Remember middle name is the only one we didn't require so I'll just put an asterisk here on each of these fields. I'll get the last two here. And you can see that our uh, fields all now have asterisks on them. One of the other things I want to do is kind of explain to users what that, that asterisk means. So I'm going to make my form a little bit bigger here. And if you see, when you select the form, there will be a box here that you can actually move all of the fields at once. And I'm going to just move them down a little bit. I'm going to go back up to my Design tab. And we've got a couple of items we can add in here. The item I'm going to add in is a label. And we'll just uh, click on the screen there, and we can put asterisk. This is a required field. So now our users will know that the asterisk means that that field is required. We'll do some other formatting updates here. One of the things is I think these uh, fields here are a little too long, so I'll select all of those. And I'll bring those in. I think that's a pretty good size there. We'll go ahead and bring in this other side. And you notice that it actually stops here. That's because the uh, title for our form that was created uh, is actually longer than our form. So we'll go ahead and pull that in. Sometimes you have to pull the form out a little bit. And while we're up here, we'll call this the employee entry form. Okay, and now we can pull this back in. And now we've got some very nice basic formatting for our form. 
Let's go ahead and see how that looks in form view. We'll right click and say form view. And you'll see it's on the first record here. We've got a, a nice title there. We've got our information that tells us which fields are required. It does, when you start, when you open a form by default, it's going to start on the first record. We have what's called record navigation down here. We can see we have one of one records. So let's go ahead and give our form a try here. We can either move to the next record, which is going to be a new record, or we can press the new blank record button. So we'll go ahead and push the new blank record. And you'll see it updates to two of two. So we'll go ahead and enter some more information in here. We'll go ahead and enter Amy. Uh, middle name is not required. And we'll put in Myers as her last name. You'll see the drop down has our drop down values. We'll say that she's an access development, that she is a, we'll say she's a manager. It defaulted our start date. And what we can do here is we'll, we'll change the start date. Uh, we'll say she started on the first. And then we have email address here, which we will type in a fictional address. Do not try to contact this person. And we'll go ahead and put in the same number here. And it's kind of nice to know that if you tab at the end of the record, it actually went to a new record for us. So we've got kind of a, a basic form here with some uh, ways to enter information that's not that data sheet form. So now let's look at something else. Let's go back to design view. And we'll do one more thing in this tutorial. Uh, what we'll look at is uh, doing some further formatting to these uh, fields here. I'm kind of curious myself if this one's going to work. And it looks like we didn't get our design view tools again, so I'll jump back out. And here we go, we've got them over here. And I actually want this text to be red so that it sticks out a little bit more. There are formatting options here for you. And actually, I kind of want this to be over here. And we'll drag this up a little bit. So in this tutorial, what we did was we created a, a basic form based off a pre-existing table. We did a, some basic formatting to it. We uh, fixed our labels. We made note of which items were required. And we entered in a test record. Please stay tuned for our next tutorial where we'll take this form one step further. Please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all our products, our database templates, and our tutorials. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter. Feel free to join our circle on Google Plus or contact us for any of your access development needs. If it's a current project or a new project, if you're starting with one of our database templates, or you need assistance starting a database, designing it, or furthering the development of a current database. Thanks and have a great day.